Governor Ron DeSantis was in West Palm Beach today filling a seat on the state Supreme Court, but there was still talk over what the governor did yesterday with a Florida prosecutor. WPTV's Matt Sesney was there. As he looked to fill one job on the state Supreme Court, the governor first took time to look back at the job vacancy he created the day before, suspending Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren for being what he called a rogue prosecutor. We had evidence that you had a fellow over in Tampa that had basically said there's certain things he's just not going to enforce. There's going to be certain policies they're going to do where people are presumptively let off the hook even though the law requires. So we did something about that. The move ignited more controversy around the abortion issue, sparked by a recent U.S. Supreme Court decision. She's done even better. But here, it was, it was really a state Supreme Court you know, vacancy the governor was filling, with no mention of politics, only the rule of law. But that's not the judge's job to sit there as a council of revision and change the law. It's the people's job to elect people to, to change it as they see fit. The governor's appointee is a Palm Beach County judge, Renatha Francis, a Jamaican immigrant who stated she intends to apply the law as written. I'm not only grateful, I'm humbled that I get to be a part of this great American experiment and to serve at the highest level of our state judiciary. She describes herself as the epitome of the American dream. The governor seemed to agree, someone he certainly likes, which these days political analysts say can be job security. I think the fact that, that she came from Jamaica, she thought it was a, a gift to be able to be in the United States, never took anything for granted, had really long odds to be able to succeed. For Judge Francis, this is actually the second time for her appointment to the state's highest court. Two years ago, her appointment was rejected over a challenge that she hadn't served enough time with the state bar, a dispute the governor today called politically motivated. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.